So now in C4, in the new world, I can uh, import scene, and this time I should see within the pirate ship directory the ship.dae uh, cloud file which I just exported from Blender. And I will unclick everything. I'll actually uh, scale this down to half size. And then within um, the world outside, you can use the scroll wheel to um, zoom in and out. And uh, you can see that actually, actually uh, that's pretty good. Um, one thing I noticed with this model was that um, the sails were, the normals on the sails weren't. Uh, great, and to smooth them, you can uh, select them. So you can click them in the, in the perspective viewport here, and shift select actually to select them all. Shift selecting here all the sails, and then I can go to um, geometry, recalculate normals, and that should smooth them. Okay, so we are done. I can then export the model or save it as a uh, C4 model file. Let's put that in the current ship directory and call it ship and save. Oh, one other thing I'd like to do actually is um, turn off shadows for this. So I'm, I'm selecting here to select all tools um, and then I can drag across all geometries here to select them all and then node get info. Um, just make sure that the uh, Let's cancel that again. I just select geometries. Um, get info. Make sure that this is not set because this particular model has some holes in it and uh, the shadows don't look great. So I'm one clicking, uh, deselecting the red render stencil shadow checkbox here. And then I'm going to save again. Over oh, model I just saved. Yes. So we're done. <coughs> and now. I don't need to save the uh, world, so it's just used to import the collider file. And now what I'll do is I'll open up um, the island world, which is in the demo uh, folder, ship for T4. And here I will uh, save it immediately as some other name, let's call it um, ship island. Let's just call it ship. Save. Now here I can use the view viewport page to select uh, to, to see various viewports, not just the perspective viewport. I can also click the control four um, and control four again, um, or control one, control one. So if I select here four viewports, um, again I can select any one or, or make any one bigger by selecting a number between one and four. So control two shows me the front. Control 2 again shows me four viewports. So control 3 shows me the scene graph. Again, I can use the uh, scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. And control 3 again shows me all four viewports. What I want to do here now is I want to. I mean, previously in the boxer tutorial, we showed you how to change code to uh, register a model with the editor. Uh, I want to show you here that you can also load a model into. Um, your world for testing um, simply by uh, like I just did there uh, under the world um, menu, load from model resources and then select the model you want to uh, load. Zoom out here to see where it puts for me and just uh, scroll here out and click the scroll wheel to pan down and then scroll back in. Now, what you can see here is that it just uh, dumps all the geometries into the scene graph. Pretty messy. Um, so what I'll do is I'll select them all, dragging across them here using the um, box select tool, and then I can click um, node group nodes so that they are all grouped. Um, let me just here click the select tool, select the group, and double click that actually, and um, name that group. 
just a group of geometries. It's not really a, a C4 uh, model inside the, uh, the world at this point. But again, it's okay for testing. Um, what I want to do now is place it. So, where will we put it? I'm right clicking the perspective viewport. What I'll do then is use the W key to fly across the island over to this walkway. I want to place the uh, ship here. So, what I'll do is I'll left click on the um, on where the geometry is here. And then I'll open the transform page to find out where that is. It's already open. The transform page is open. So let's scroll down. So I find it's very useful to you know if I want to understand the location of the um, foot in the world. I just uh, look at the transform. So it's about 300, 128, 37 x y z coordinates. So for the ship, then I'll, I'll just give its coordinates similar to that. 300, 128, 37. 300, 128, and 37, there's shears. Um, see, actually, that even though we uh, rotated the model within Blender uh, before exporting it, it's still uh, it's not correctly rotated here, but let's not worry about that for now. Click on the Move tool, I'll move the ship up slightly. Um, and let's rotate it here. Rotate it is about the, I believe it's the y axis, let's try 90. Uh, that was incorrect. X axis 90. There we go. So there's the ship placed on the world, it's uh, also rotated around the bed by 90. Uh, there we go. So it's uh, facing the right way now. I can use the move tool then to move it in or out. I'm left clicking here on the uh, handle, the red handle there. And we just, I can zoom in here to get a bit more control. Okay, let's try that. So we can show you, say, the play world. Actually, I'm way over on the other side of the island, so um, let's uh, see if I can uh, control shift P. Bring it back into the editor. Okay, so I want to find the spawn uh, marker, which is where the player will enter the world. I open uh, the find page, and uh, scroll down here, <coughs> and move the find page up higher in the uh, list of pages, and then I'll be on the type folder here and select that I'm looking for a marker, um, and then I click next to find the next one. The first one I find is the so-called spectator marker. And the next one is the spawn marker, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to scroll out here in the top view. And I'm going to then use the move to, actually I can use the transform to bring this marker over here. So I think it's 300, 125, 128, and about 37, let's say 30, You can spawn above the world. Um, and now when I right click and perspective, fly back over to where I have the ship. There she is. The marker should now be somewhere close to the ship. Um, and the spawn marker is as there in the background actually look. So let's make it uh, 280 and 140. Let's use a little to There we go. So I click here, so I'm spawning on the uh, sand just close to the ship. So let's try it. Uh, world, save and play world. And indeed, I spawn right next to it. So just to recap, um, we uh, downloaded a 3DS file uh, from the web. We used um, a 
program called paint.net to convert the texture from JPEG to TGA and then import the texture into C4. Um, we then used Blender to import the 3DX file into Blender and then export it as a Collider file. Uh, and then we used the new world within C4 uh, in the world editor to uh, import the Collider file and then use the world editor to place the, the model um, in the um, island world. Um, if you look at the Boxer uh, tutorial, you'll see how you can um, correctly register this model with the world editor um, so you can more correctly place it in your uh, game world. Alright, thanks.